You see, as we draw near to God, he draws near to us. And when we draw near to him and he draws near to us, we then give him an opportunity to begin to draw his image within us. He wants to draw his image, that sin disfigured and marred all the way back in the beginning. That was the enemy's plot to destroy the image of God. And Jesus came down as the image of God to restore what man disfigured. When I spend time with him in private, I begin to allow him to have a canvas in my heart where he writes out his character within me before I unleash that on the day. See, there was a boy, he was drawing a picture, busy at work. The teacher hovered over his shoulder, said, what are you drawing? He looked up and said, I'm drawing a picture of God. The teacher laughed, that's hilarious. Nobody knows what God looks like. The boy, unfazed, went back to his picture and with a grin on his face and under his breath, he said, they will when I'm through. <laughs> and they should know what God looks like when we're through. There is no other way for the world to see what God looks like except by his people and his church. And conversely, the quickest way, the fastest way to impair the image of God in your heart is to begin to listen to the world. Hmm. 